So after the hoses are brought into the structure, you can connect them to the manifold. I find it's easiest to stand them up straight, um, set the, the, the female quick connect couple, put it in place, give it a quick pop down, and you have one of each manifold to connect to your heaters. You want to connect four or more heaters directly from uh, the, uh, the trailer. You want to utilize the connecting tee provided to attach both ends of the manifold. And then you want to connect the manifold to your hoses. So after we have the manifold set up, I like to set up and have one heater started first. I can turn the system on as soon as I establish a full uh, glycol circuit. So I have two hoses stretched to a heater in the bedroom and I like to pick the infested bedroom and, and start the heat off in there so I have the most heat time in the room that has um, the most problems. So again just connect the quick couples to a port in the manifold. To make it easy I like to use the furthest port, port away uh, from the, from the the, the supply line and the, the, the return line to make it easier to know which one I need to disconnect last. Because this is going to be the first heater that I hook up and the last heater that I disconnect. Yep. So where do we have the manifold or the hoses connected to the manifold in the main room we can connect the heater. And we can plug in the heater. Make sure the heater is running appropriately and the switch is on. And now we can go turn on the furnace. All right, so after we have a, a glycol connection set up in the, in the unit, we can then connect the hoses to the trailer. All right, so after you, have, you establish a connection, right after you establish a connection on the trailer, you want to come in here and immediately turn on the pump. Okay, you want to look to establish your pressure and you want somewhere between 40 and 45 uh, PSI. That means you, your, your pump's operating correctly, you don't have any kinks, you don't have any misconnections. Once you're satisfied that your pressure is good, you're going to turn on the furnace. After you, can, you initiate the switch, there's going to go through a, a cycle of diagnostics and it's going to take about 30 seconds before the furnace kicks on. So after the furnace is initiated, you can adjust your temperature with the thermostat to what you want to operate your unit at. 